Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Aspirin channel. At the end of the previous lecture, we said that there is an Aspirin method assistant which we can use to select appropriate property package. So we are going to see that today there are two types of selection scheme. Number one is by component type. Number two is by process type. So before starting the video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel now we will go to the aspen plus and using the method assistant and in the method assistant using the component type we will see how we can select the suitable property package so this is the simulation environment as you can see over here and in the tools bar there is a method assistant available Obtain advice on the most appropriate methods to be used in modeling chemical system of interest. So that is the summary or the description of this method assistant. Once you click on it, it will open a new screen and it will be property method selection assistant. The purpose of the assistant is to help you select the most appropriate property methods for the use with Aspen Plus and Aspen Properties. The same will be applicable for Aspen Hysis as well. The assistant will ask you a number of questions which it will use to suggest one or more property methods to be used. So we will see that how many questions it will ask before giving it a right answer. So there are two types again as I have told you. Number one is component type. Number two is the process type. So let's specify the component type. Click on it. Then there are four options available in it and we will explore each option one by one. So first we will go to the chemical system, after that hydrocarbon, then special and then refrigerant. So go to the chemical system, it will ask whether the system is at high pressure, means greater than 10 bar or low pressure. If you remember our figure number 2 of Eric Carlson's recommendation, that is the same thing which is asking over here. So let's say our system is at high pressure. So it will say use an equation of state method with advanced mixing rule, these methods MHV1, MHV2. Then options can include SR Polar, PRWS, RKSWS, and up to so on. Most of these equation of states require binary direction parameters for the best results. If you do not have these interactions, use one of the predictive methods used such as SR Polar or PSRK. So this is the information which is given to us for the chemical systems at high pressure that we have to use equation of state model but with some modifications. And obviously, we need some binary interaction parameters. Use this one to go back and say, no, the pressure is below 10 bar, not at high pressure. No. So, use an activity coefficient method such as NRTL, Wilson, Uniquack, or Unifact. There is another information about refrigerants, but we will discuss it once we go to the refrigerants part. So, chemical system has two properties, or you can say two classifications. Number one is high pressure, number two is low pressure. At low pressure, you have to select the activity coefficient models. At high pressure, you have to select the equation of state, modified equation of state models. Now going back to the hydrocarbon system, number two system in our system, properties. Does the mixture contain petroleum acids or pseudo components? If you remember our figure number one of Eric Carlson recommendation, it has asked you about the pseudo components. So yes, if there are pseudo components available, then it will ask about the vacuum conditions and if you remember it has similarly asked us so let's say it is yes so use bk10 or mx bonal maxwell bonal method and it is our special model which we have selected in there obviously you can if you want to study the additional information about these models you can click for example on bk10 and it will give you all information about this model about the temperature range about the different characteristics so going back say no it is not at vacuum conditions so it will allow you to so it will say use tau cedar or grayson street method brown k10 can be also be used okay. going back we say no there are no pseudo components available then we will use the standard equation of state models such as pang robinson or redfish pong or leak as a blocker and again if you want to study the properties or the characteristics of each method you can go and see it coming back to the special model special component type special with water only amine so water carboxylic acid hydrogen fluoride electrolytes click on it and there are now multiple options so going to the amine systems 
use one of the following methods amines and Eisenberg model, electrolyte NRTL, then which is an enhancement of electrolyte NRTL ENRTL dash RK. So these can be used for the amine systems among the special components. If you go to the carboxylic acid in the mixture, then you have to use an any activation coefficient method with North Nagel or Hayden O'Connell for vapor phase association. Similarly, for electrolytic system, use elect NRTL for electrolyte NRTL with Hedlisch Kong equation of state. Similarly, you can use Pitzer and up to so on. So, once you go to these steps, you can study one by one their applications and again their characteristics, and we will discuss in our upcoming lectures about these as well. Similarly, if there is an hydrogen fluoride in the mixture, use Wills dash HF or ENRTL dash HF or any activity coefficient method with the hydrogen fluoride equation of state method for vapor phase association. Similarly, if you go to the refrigerants, use refprop property method developed by NIST. And refprop provides very accurate thermodynamic and transport properties for a wide range of refrigerants and other pure compounds and mixtures. In the same way, you can go to the sore water system, use API sore water method, and if there is only water only, then use steam TA, steam NBS, steam NBS2, IAPWS, IF97, or IAPWS95. This is the current standard for properties of water and steam and is recommended. These are the previous methods, while this is the latest method for steam table selection. Going back to the refrigerants, the last type, and obviously this is the same among Refrigerants, we have to use the ref prop. This is also, you can say, refrigerants can also be counted among the special components. So, these are the overall description of the selection of property methods by the component type that our focus today will be on the process type. I have selected the component type today, we will select the process type. So, click on specify process type. Now, there are different processes which are available to us starting from chemical, electrolytic, environmental, gas processing. Mineral and metallurgical, oil and gas, petrochemical, polymer, power, refining, and pharmaceuticals. So, these are the commercial processes that are available worldwide. And now, once we want to simulate such a process, then which of the property package to be used, we will study it today. So, let's start from the chemical process. And in general, for a chemical process, we can use an activity coefficient based property package such as NRTL, Wilson, Uniquet, and their variances. So, for preliminary designs, one of the unifact based property method can be used. At high pressures, we can use equation of state method with advanced mixing rules such as Wong Sandler, MHV1, and so on. If you remember our figure number two of Eric Carlson's recommendation, it is the same as represented over here. So the figure two actually represents the chemical process. Now, in electrolytic system, we have already studied that for electrolytic system, we have to use electrolyte NRTL with RK equation of state extension. Similarly, different types of NRTL can be used in the same way Pitzer model can also be used. And if you want to study all of these, you can click on this one by one and you can study all the characteristics. For environmental process, in general, an activity coefficient based property package is appropriate such as NRTL, Wilson, Uniquack and their variances. If you see this is the same line which we have studied in the chemical method. So for environmental and for chemical we can use the same process but in that case there were some pressure variations but here it is not mentioned over here. And then there are different processes acid gas stripping, acid hydrocarbon stripping. So you can select one by one that for system of interest you can specifically choose the property package. Then going to the gas processing, in general an equation of state based property method is appropriate such as Pang Robinson, SRK or so on or in the HISIS version we can use HISIS PR or HISIS SRK. For natural gas custody transfer calculations we can use GER 2008 model. And if you want to study different types like acid gas absorption, gas dehydrations then you can use certain property package or if you want to study all these property packages you can go one by one and you can study it. Going back and going to mineral and, and metallurgical, for pyrometallurgy use the solids or fact property method. 
The fact method requires an external CAM server data file and CAM app license and is only usable in S printers. For hydrometallurgy, use electrolyte NRTL or ENRTL RK property method. Similarly, for oil and gas, it's a wide range. So, use an equation of state property method such as Bang Robinson, Redditch Wong, and up to so on. There are different types available over here. But most likely, the, for oil and gas applications, you have to use the equation of state method. While for chemical, for environmental, for electrolytic system, you have to use the activity coefficient model. Then, going to petrochemical, a wide range of property methods can be used depending on the process involved. Both equation of state and activity coefficient models can be applied over here. Now, if your system is of interest, is for example, aromatics, then you have to use activity coefficient method. If your system of interest is ethers production, you have to again use activity coefficient method. If it is ethyl benzene or styrene, then you have to use the equation of state US method. So again, it depends on the requirement and the type which you are using. Then going to polymer. Use one of the polymer property methods such as PCS, dash SAF, poly NRTL, poly FH, poly SN, and up to so on. These are the different property packages. Remember that this is just an introductory lecture. Once we will go in detail of all these methods, you will understand how each method can be utilized. Then going to power, obviously in power use PR dash BM or RKS dash BM with combustion data. Bank for steam cycle applications, use one of the steam table methods such as steam TA, steam NBS, or IAPWS 95. And I told you in the previous lecture that this is the recent or the current standard for properties of water and steam and is recommended. If you go to the PR BSM, that is Bang Robinson cubic equation of state with Boston Mathias alpha function for all thermodynamic pro properties. So, again, these are different. Property packages available in S1 and we will study it in detail in our upcoming lectures. For refining, we will use BK10, Chow Seater, and Grayson Street method. Now you can see that special models which we have defined are coming in the refinery applications. If you see before these, we have studied chemical, electrolytical, and different applications, but there were no special models. So now special models will be applied in refinery applications and cubic equation of states such as Pang Robinson or SRK can also be used over here. And last, the pharmaceuticals. So, in pharmaceuticals, we mostly use the activity coefficient methods such as NRTL, Unifac, NRTL dash sec, and up to so on. So, these are the different processes which are available in the literature, in the working, in the real scenario, and again, the characteristics or the classifications are also available in S1 class. And if you know the certain process type, you can go to that tab and accordingly you can select which of the property package should be used for your system. So that is the overall summary or overall use or overall selection of how to select a suitable property package for a particular application. Hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture. If you have any queries, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to ask. So that's it for today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.